We're now ready to program and machine our fifth operation. From our demo part print, you will see that we have a profile on the outside of the part. Our tool for this operation is a half inch diameter end mill with one inch flute length. Since this will be a custom profile that we create, it will be necessary to plan our entry exit point on the profile and direction of cut now before beginning any programming. For our demo, we will start the profile at the left side center edge and then program our points in a clockwise direction around the profile until completing the shape. The process of programming our part in the Fagor Profile Editor will follow this sequence of steps as an example. Let's begin by changing to our required tool for this operation. From the main menu, press T, followed by 2, and press Cycle Start. The axes should now move to the tool change position. The CNC will dwell and wait for you to finish the tool change. Once done, confirm the tool change is complete and press Cycle Start. The CNC now updates the active tool on screen and we can continue. Select the Profile Cycle key. Use the Level key and confirm you are on Level 2. X is our initial tool entry point away from the material on x-axis. This will be minus 0.5. Press enter to continue. Y is our initial tool entry point away from the material on y-axis. This will be minus 3. Press enter to continue. We must now create a profile. Enter a profile number. In this case, we will use profile 1. Now press the recall key. Press the Edit key. Select Profile. On the right hand side of the screen is where you can enter the information from our drawing. We must now introduce the starting point on our profile. The X starting point on our profile will be 0.5. Press Enter to continue. The Y starting point on our profile will be minus 3. Press Enter to continue. Now press F7 to validate the information. You will now see that we have a starting point to our profile on screen. You will now select our next step. Select straight line. Our straight line X end will be 0.5. Press enter to continue. Our Y axis will end at minus 2.118. Press enter to continue. Now validate the information. Our next step is to select a counterclockwise arc. We have the ability to define the arc by the end coordinates or the center coordinates. By the information given on the drawing, we will enter the known center information. The endpoints will be solved by the editor as we progress further. The center of XC is zero. Press enter to continue. The center of YC is minus 2.118. Press enter to continue. The radius is 0.5. Press enter to continue. Validate the information. Our next step is to do a clockwise arc. From our drawing, we know the center of the arc. XC is 1. Press enter to continue. YC is minus 1. Press Enter to continue. Our radius is 1. Press Enter to continue. As we continue, validate the data. The Profile Editor has the ability to solve the missing geometry points and connect our arcs together automatically. There are multiple intersecting points with this line or arc. The CNC will prompt you to select the correct intersecting point. Press Next to see the different intersecting points Press Enter to confirm the correct one. To continue, we now select another counterclockwise arc. We know the centers of this arc also. XC is 2.118. YC is 0. Our radius is 0.5. Press Enter to continue. Now validate the data. There are multiple intersecting points with this line arc. The CNC will prompt you to select the correct intersecting point. Press Next to see the different intersecting points. 
Press Enter to confirm the correct one. Our next step is a straight line. To figure out our ending coordinates of our straight line on x-axis, we will use our onboard calculator and the information provided from the drawing. We know the overall length of the part is 6. Type in 6, but do not press Enter to confirm. We also know that each arc at the end corner is 2.118 in length. We want to subtract this value from 6. Type in minus 2.118 and press Enter. The CNC will then do the math and give you the correct results. Our ending value on Y is minus 0.5. Press Enter. In this section, we must select Tangency to Yes. Press Enter. Validate the information. There are multiple intersecting points with this line or arc. The CNC will prompt you to select the correct intersecting point. Press Next to see the different intersecting points. Press Enter to confirm the correct one. Our next step is to do another counterclockwise arc. We will again use the known centers of the arc. XC is 3.882. YC is 0. The radius is 0.5. Validate the information. Our next step is a clockwise arc. Using the centers again, XC is 5, YC is minus 1, radius is 1. Validate the information. There are multiple intersecting points with this line or arc. The CNC will prompt you to select the correct intersecting point. Press Next to see the next intersecting points. Press Enter to confirm the correct one. Our next step is a counterclockwise arc. We will use the centers of our arc. XC is 6. Press Enter. YC is minus 2.118. Our radius is 0.5. Validate the information. There are multiple intersecting points with this line or arc. The CNC will prompt you to select the correct intersecting point. Press Next to see the different intersecting points. Press Enter to confirm the correct one. Our next step is a straight line. Our ending point on X is 5.5. Our ending point on Y is minus 3.882. We must select Tangency to Yes for this step. Press Enter and validate the data. There are multiple intersecting points with this line or arc. The CNC will prompt you to select the correct intersecting point. Press Next to see the different intersecting points. Press Enter to confirm the correct one. Select Counterclockwise Arc. Again using the centers, XC is 6, YC is minus 3.882, our radius is 0.5. Validate the data. Our next step is a clockwise arc. The center of XC is 5. The center of YC is minus 5. The radius is 1. Validate the data. There are multiple intersecting points with this liner arc. The CNC will prompt you to select the correct intersecting point. Press Next to see the different intersecting points. Press Enter to confirm the correct one. Select Counterclockwise Arc. Our center point of XC is 3.882. YC is minus 6. Radius is 0.5. Validate the data. There are multiple intersecting points with this liner arc. The CNC will prompt you to select the correct intersecting point. Press Next to see the different intersecting points. Press Enter to confirm the correct one. Our next step is a straight line. X ends at 2.118. Y ends at minus 5.5. Set Tangency to Yes. Validate the data. There are multiple intersecting points with this line or arc. The CNC will prompt you to select the correct intersecting point. Press Next to see the different intersecting points. Press Enter to confirm the correct one. Select Counterclockwise Arc. Our center on XC is 
our center on YC is minus 6. The radius is 0.5. Validate the data. Select clockwise arc. The center of XC is 1. The center of YC is minus 5. Radius is 1. Validate the data. There are multiple intersecting points with this line or arc. The CNC will prompt you to select the correct intersecting point. Press Next to see the different intersecting points. Press Enter to confirm the correct one. Select Counterclockwise Arc. Our center on XC is 0. Our center on YC is minus 3.882. The radius is 0.5. Validate the data. There are multiple intersecting points with this line or arc. The CNC will prompt you to select the correct intersecting point. Press Next to see the different intersecting points. Press Enter to confirm the correct one. Our next step is a straight line. X ends at 0.5. Y ends at minus 3. Set tangency to yes. Validate the data. There are multiple intersecting points with this line or arc. The CNC will prompt you to select the correct intersecting point. Press next to see the different intersecting points. Press enter to confirm the correct one. We are now done with our profile. Let's save it. Press save and continue. Press escape twice. Press Finish. Enter a comment for the profile. This can be a job number if desired. Press Enter. We now have to define the rest of our profile cycle. Press Enter. ZS. This is your Z safety distance. This is the amount your tool will be above your starting point before beginning its operation. In this example, we will be using a value of a quarter of an inch. Z. This is the starting point of the z-axis. In this example, we will be using a value of 0. P. This is our total depth. In this case, it is 0.75. I. This is the depth of cut per pass. In this example, we will be using a value of 0.15, meaning it will take 6 passes to get to its final depth. FZ. This is the penetrating feed rate. This value is entered in inches per minute. In this example, we will be using a value of 25. Use the half key to select if you want coolant off or coolant on during the machining process. F. This is your roughing feed rate along the axis. In this example, we are using a value of 25 inches per minute. S. This is your spindle speed. In this example, we are using a value of 2800 RPMs. Use the half key to select if you want spindle to turn clockwise or counterclockwise. In this example, we will select clockwise. T. Enter in your tool number. In this example, we are using tool 2. D. Enter in your tool offset number. In this example, we are using offset 2. Use the half key to select left hand tool radius compensation. We will not be doing a finish pass, so please confirm that our tool is set to zero under the finish section. Let's run this in solid graphics so we can confirm we have defined the cycle correctly. Select the graphics icon key. For safety reasons, turn down the feed rate to zero. Press cycle start. The CNC will now ask you to turn up the feed rate. The CNC will now simulate the cycle. The process should complete with no errors. Press the escape key to go back one menu. At this time, continue and save the program. Press the P program key. At this point, we should still be under the program we have created. If not, navigate back to the program. Once there, press enter to insert the profile cycle into the program. To execute the cycle, press escape twice. You now see that there is a cycle start icon at the top of the screen. Turn down the feed rate to zero and press the cycle start button to begin executing the cycle. 
you will need to increase the feed rate after pressing cycle start. If gear ranges are an option on your machine, you may be prompted to change to the correct gear. Change gear and press enter to continue. Slowly turn up the feed rate so execution can continue. To see additional information while the program is being executed, use the half key to toggle between basic and advanced screen.